wonder if you can hear the rain. I have no idea. Hey guys, this is Regina back with Reggie's VSG Closet. A little bit of a different angle. I'm just trying. This room is like this big. So y'all already know. Up here, chartreuse bag. You remember that shirt, that last haul? It did so well. I'm so excited. Yay. There's the bag. But anyway, um, I'm just going to try to do something a little bit different. I've never done a video like this. Um, but it's a, what, Instagram tag? Is that what it's, I don't know if it's YouTube tag, Instagram tag. It's basically a list of questions. And then you can tag your favorite YouTubers or Instagrammers to do another video as well. Um, I, I don't know. We don't know if we're doing this correct, but it's basically to me a whole bunch of like questions or fun facts about me. Um, just to guys, so you guys can get to know me a little bit more, um, versus me just doing random hauls. Um, just trying to get out some different type of content, but more like get to know me type of stuff. Um, because I have a lot, a lot of fun stuff coming, but I can't post it yet. So, to keep this momentum with my subscriber count going, just thought I would just kind of throw out something new, something different, something for the people that have been here a while, and also something just to be like, hi, this is me, how you doing? Um, so, Bad Mad, um, looks like she's a beauty influencer, tagged me in her tag, and I will link her video below. She's very fun, makeup, um, she does a lot of skincare, makeup tutorials, this is what her YouTube looks like. Very, very, very pretty um, title or whatever you call it. I don't know what it's called. What is that called? Your banner. I think her banner. Yes. Very, very pretty banner there. Um, she just does a really great job with her thumbnails. Like, y'all. I'm trying to get there, y'all. Um, but she's growing as well as... I am, um, she's almost at 600 subscribers, yay! Um, but I met her, I believe, through Instagram. I'm really not sure, but it's been a great community just growing in YouTube and getting to know other people. Um, but it's basically a hashtag, hashtag random question tag. Um, there's about a whole bunch of questions. There's, yeah, there's a whole bunch of questions listed. I'm just going to kind of go through my faves. Um, that just kind of will help you guys get to know me better. Um, and then I have no idea who I'm going to tag. So I'm probably not going to say anything in this video. I will probably just list the people and maybe tag their YouTube channels and then send them some Instagram messages to let them know I tagged them. And hopefully they will participate as well. Um, she sent me this probably about a month ago. So I'm like super late doing this video, but it just works. It works for right now. Um, be looking down at my phone a bit because I've adjusted the questions and picked out the questions that I'm going to answer below on my phone. So, I guess let's just get into it. I mean, hopefully this is quick. My videos tend to run pretty long, but we're, we're just, I don't know. So, question number one. Do you like blue cheese? Um, I do not like blue cheese dressing, but I love blue cheese crumbles. So, if that counts, then... Yes, I like blue cheese crumble specifically. Um, next question, Coke or Pepsi? Neither. I am a, um, <laughs> I don't know what I am. I'm a weight loss surgery patient. That's what I am. And uh, soda is a no-go from the time, well, probably from like weeks before surgery up until now. No soda at all. Not allowed to have it. It just makes your stomach grow. We don't want that. So neither. If I'm like sick, 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 very, very sick, I will do diluted ginger ale or ginger ale that has been shaken up, let it sit, open it, let it sit some more so all of the carbonation is gone. But I only drink non-carbonated drinks. Um, whiskey, tequila, or vodka? Uh, vodka, probably. Um, to be honest, Malibu rum, that is my go-to. But if I have to, I guess I would choose vodka. Tequila, no-go. Whiskey, no, no, no. Um, hot dog or cheeseburger? I guess it just depends on how I feel. Um, 
I probably hot dog though. That's usually my go-to. If I wanted to do a quick meal, I would do hot dog. And I hear a cat scratching at my door. She's gone. Um, favorite food. Ooh, that's that's hard. Um, I have a lot of favorites, but I mean, pizza's a good one. Like really good, like New York style pizza. <sighs> Goodness. Um, but I do love a good mango. <laughs> Just like, let me give you like a food item and then also like a fruit. Mango. I had a really good mango that I will never forget about. I got in New York from Chinatown. Y'all, if you've ever gotten the mango from Chinatown in New York off of one of those like open air fruit stands, I will never forget it. I just, I just will never forget it. I had a really good mango. <laughs> It's stinking huge. Let me show you. Ugh, it's so big and it's so good. And the seed is so small, so it's all mango. Ah, so good. Um, next question: What do you drink in the morning? Uh, Duncan. Like usually, it is a ice caramel macchiato small. Most mornings, it keeps me going. Um, it keeps me from snacking because coffee curbs my appetite. So. Um, that's just a helpful one. Um, can you do a hundred push-ups? No, I cannot. Not, not at all. Favorite season? I love fall. It's just, it's a little bit of spring left. It's a little bit of chilly cold left. You can wear dresses and skirts and then just add a legging and it's perfect. I love it. So fall is my favorite season. Favorite hobby? That one's hard. Favorite hobby, it's hard. I'm a creative. I love doing all sorts of things. So I really don't have a favorite hobby. I love graphic design, but I also love crafts and getting dirty and painting and doing all kinds of stuff. So I don't know. Tattoos. I have one tattoo. Do I love that tattoo? No, I do not. All right, so the next question, uh, do you wear glasses? Um, so normally, no, I don't wear glasses. I wear contacts, but I have glasses and I will wear them if needed. Um, actually coming up soon, I should start transitioning into wearing glasses just a little bit because your eyes get so used to the contacts and probably need to change these contacts out too. It's been a minute, it's been a minute. Um, nicknames. Uh, I mean, my name is Regina, but most people call me Gina. Um, but I've, I've gotten Gina B because my last name is Brown. So Gina B. Um, I, what else have I gotten? RB? People have called me RB before. Um, what else? I think that's it. <laughs> like, I don't have a lot of like, oh, Gina Bina Boo? That's a family thing. Like, friends and other people don't call me that. So, that's just not, that's, that's something my aunt from New York coined for me. And that's her thing. No one else is allowed. Um, but that's pretty much it. I don't have a lot of, like, nicknames. Most of them have to do with some part of my name. Favorite candy. Um... Hands down, probably the Haribo or Haribo. I don't know how they're pronounced, but those gummy bears, uh, they're so good. So, so, so good. Um, uh, the healthier version of those are the Sweet Smart gummy bears. Great. Those are great when you're, like, being good and you get a, like, good treat and you've been great all week. Uh, the Haribos are, like, I don't care. I want these gummy bears now. And I'm going to get them. Rain or snow? Uh, probably snow because it doesn't snow here often in Charleston. But, yeah, rain is just boring. Like, everybody gets rain. Well, most people get rain. Not everybody gets snow. So, I just, I don't know. Piercings. Yes, I have two in each ear. And, if you can see it, it's itty bitty. My nose pierced. Hmm. 
my age. I am 34 years old. I'm 34, so that's my age. French fries or onion rings? Um, depends on how I'm feeling or where I am. If I'm at Sonic, onion rings. If I'm at Zaxby's, french fries. That kind of thing, yeah. Kids. I do not have kids. I would love to have some babies, though. I would love, love, love to have babies. Favorite color. Favorite color is hard, too. Again, I'm a creative. I love everything fun and creative. And I've never been able to, like, harp down on, like, a favorite color. Like, sometimes it's orange. Sometimes it's coral. But I've... I've had this question before and I've written rainbow because I love them all. So, yeah, that's a hard one. Can you sing? I think I can carry a little tune, but I'm not a solo singer. I do not like to just be like the only person singing. So I love choir. I love singing with groups. I can handle fun times in the car with the friends, but not a solo artist here. I'm just not. Mm, can you whistle? <laughs> I don't, yeah, kind of. Maybe my lips weren't wet enough. I don't know. Maybe I'm not, I'm not that great of a whistler, but I can whistle. My dad, let me tell from New York, the Bronx, could be like downstairs and he could whistle to like a fifth floor walk up, like that whole, that. If you know what I'm talking, these two fingers, no, I can't do it, but he could do it, and it was crazy, and it was loud, and it would wake up like a whole block. It was crazy. Um, where were you born? That that just ties right in, me talking about my daddy. Oh, I love that man. Re May he rest in peace. I miss him dearly every, every day, but I was born in Bronx, in the Bronx, New York, so I'm originally a New Yorker. I love that place. New York gives me life. I feel like I'm energized when I'm in that city. Um, and that's just, that will always be a connection that will always be with me. I was born there. I lived there for about seven or eight years of my life. And there's just always a special connection with me in the state. And just, oh, it's great. It's so great. Oh my gosh. Siblings. I am an only child. I have no siblings at all. I have, what, adopted siblings? I have sister cousins. They are just everything to me. So they know who they are. My sister cousins. Um, but I don't have any biological siblings. Can you cook? I feel like I can cook. I can put A and B together and make C. I prefer cooking one pot meals. I don't like, I'm not a Thanksgiving meal person where you have like the starches and the, the vegetables and the this and the that. I prefer like everything to fit in one pot. Possibly like a meat and something else. Maybe a vegetable, but I don't do the grand meals, but I can cook. Can you swim enough to save my life? Not sure if I can swim enough to save someone else's life, but I would say enough to save my own life. Um, but yeah. Are you religious? I definitely am. I am a devout Christian. I love Jesus. He is my savior. And I've been learning and growing so much with the current church that I go to, Cathedral. And I don't know, it's just been an exciting adventure and I'm so ready to get back to church, um, specifically to see my babies, because I work with the one-year-olds at church, so just, I don't know, I'm so ready to just see my people again, like, that's, that's, that's what I'm ready for. Do you like a big city or nature? I like both. I'll, I'll, again, I've said I love New York, I love everything that it offers, all the culture, all the diversity. <laughs> I've also been to, and 
I wouldn't say Seattle is not a city, but I've been to like the waterfalls and all of the nature walks in Seattle, not all of them, but a few of them, and they are life-changing. Like, just seeing an actual waterfall up close with your own eyes is just, it's, it's, I don't even know, it's breathtaking, like there's no words. <laughs> So I would say both. Um, are you a good friend? I think I am. I think I'm a pretty good friend. I'm a great gift giver. Like, is that like a good quality of a friend? I feel like I'm a really good gift giver. So comment down below if I've ever given you a gift that was great. But I feel like I'm a good friend. I, I listen well. I give somewhat decent advice. I don't feel like I'm as seasoned as some of my friends are in life, but I kind of give what I can give where I can give it. Broken bones. I have never had any broken bones, Lord. Please let it be like that. Let's continue because I hear broken bones as an adult is terrible. So I prefer not to. How many TVs do you own? One in my office, or the clawfish here, right there. Can you see it? One in the living room, one in the bedroom. Uh, three, soon to possibly be four. After all that's gonna happen happens, I'll probably have about four. Worst pain ever. Um, I guess mentally, slightly physically, worst pain ever, losing both of my parents. Didn't happen at the same time, but each individual times, it's just, it's a process. It's very rough. It's a mental pain. It's a slight physical pain. Um, it's just a weird pain, but physically, I wouldn't even say... Gastric sleeve surgery was not painful at all, so I can't list that. Recently, and still kind of slightly, I've had a tweak, tweaked neck. I don't even know what it was, if it was strained or ripped or what. This thing, it was terrible. Like, I had, like, no range of motion. I had to do steroids. I had to do all kinds of muscle relaxers. It was just the worst. So, recently... This neck strain has probably been the worst pain. Do I like to do? Do you like to dance? Uh, yeah. Like, hey. Like, I'm not, like, getting down with the get down. I'm no TikToker, but, I mean, who doesn't like a good cha-cha slide? Like, do you like camping? Huh. It's been a minute. I, last time I went camping was Girl Scouts. So, glamping as an adult, maybe? I don't know. Are you weird? I, I, I Everybody has their quirks. I think I have my quirks. Um, you've probably seen some of my quirks come out through my videos. Maybe, yes, a little. Like, I don't know. You know, these questions. But... It looks like I'm at the end of these questions. Hopefully you got to see or hear or get to know a little bit more about me. Something different. Again, just trying to put out some new different type of content. Um, just to kind of let you a little bit more into my world without showing you clothes. Y'all remember this t-shirt? Hey, Punky Brewster. Just uh, if you haven't. I will link up here <laughs> the haul that this t-shirt came from, Torrid. And actually, this cover-up jean thing came from Torrid as well, but I don't think I hauled it. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And so much new stuff is coming, y'all. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!